is the color of money. As a German, environment is important to me. Well, it is important to my wife and she makes me separate our waste and save energy wherever and whenever possible. So I'm not exactly a tree hugger, but if I want to hug my wife, I have to include the tree. And that is how economics would work too, if politics wasn't in the way. The goal of a market is to use all resources efficiently. That means if, for example, water was a scarce resource, the market wouldn't support wasting water. Instead, it would make every drop of water so expensive that everyone in the market would use it sparingly. Today, there's plenty of water on our blue planet. But in the future, this will change. Clean water will be something nations would declare war over. If we know this will happen, why don't we act like it was already scarce? I mean, if you look into your wallet and you see a big wet of hundreds in it, you might have quite a sum today. But if you knew you would have to depend on this money for the rest of your life, wouldn't you limit your shopping to the necessary things alone? You see, that is the thing. There is nobody far-sighted in the market owning that water. If humankind had a custodian, he would raise the price for clean water in a way that it wouldn't be wasted every day. He would put a price on the air if someone wants to pollute it. But we don't have one. We don't have a custodian. We have politicians. As a politician, you get elected because your constituents believe you will take care of their prosperity, but not the future of their kids' kids. Oh, you believe an ecological politician acts differently? <laughs> I don't know. Those guys are not as dumb as they try to appear. They know that pure ecological politics is economic suicide, without even the intended result. For every environment-friendly country, there are 10 others who don't care. Germany has one of the strongest economies of the world. Our machines are famous. Our cars are famous. Our chemical industry is famous and we produce less than 2% of the world's air pollution. If you want to see pollution, look to Australia, USA, China, India or Brazil. For every ounce of carbon dioxide we save, they grow their pollution by 20. No, ecological politics is like a boy band of the 90s. It looks good, but there is not really a substance behind. But what about Fridays for Future? Didn't they even get the chance to present at the World Economic Forum in Davos? Yes, they did. Greta is a bold young woman. But she will learn that for the media and politics, she plays the same role as the court jester in the Middle Ages. A jester was funny, but he had the heart to tell the mighty the truth. And sometimes they would change something. Fridays for Future suggest the economical suicide ecological politicians want to avoid. I don't think this is advisable, since it won't change things for the better. Instead, we have to understand that we are not talking about an environmental problem. We are talking about an economical problem. We know our resources are finite. Prices must start to reflect that. The question is how? 
And that is where we have to find our solution. Maybe it is taxes. Maybe it is to declare a multinational organization that would be the custodian of the world's resources. Taxation will be a way if we act unilateral. The taxation money we take in would have to be paid back to our people, otherwise this politics would make our people poor. The other way of a multinational organization might be possible with the help of, and wait for it, a powerful movement like Fridays for Future. Otherwise it would be another toothless UN organization. <laughs> I guess if we let our economy hug the tree, we can hug it too. Can't we? See you tomorrow.